What's up guys, welcome to another exciting video of Largemouth Bass, and got my little brother here. It is currently 9, 10, and uh, the temperature is 47 degrees outside. So, we're doing something I don't think any other fishing YouTube person has ever done. It's making a survival bag for what you need, and if you want, and just, like, personal stuff or whatever. So, we're going to get right to that. Alright, so I got y'all moved so y'all can see my little work area. Now we're going to start doing the bag, like what you should have in it, your needs, your wants, your whatevers. So I got me, it's a, it's a camouflage army bag, I guess. I got a handkerchief, because just in case you ever need to wipe your hands. Got my worm, scary motto, strike kings. No, don't get down Got my Charlie's Worm swim bait. Got these. The what? What's in the handkerchief? This is a handkerchief, dummy. Okay. Yes. Okay. CO2 bottle. Bottles. I didn't even know that. Extra reel. You never know when you're going to need one. Got your Bible just in case you're ever bored in the woods. Pellets. Oh, like a hang down or something. Long lighter. You got a 12 inch blade dagger. Multi tool, you never know when you're gonna need one. I got my fillet knife, it is a uh, just a normal old fillet knife, it's a just an outdoor angler, not meant for nothing extremely well, but <laughs> it's sharp. This good for cutting bait, it's a just a small little knife, it's probably like a five inch blade. You got your bug bands. I got two of these. Two flashlights. A couple blades, just in case. You never know. Spring assist. <gasps> you got a small lighter, just in case the big one runs out of fluid. <laughs> and then, got your bag also. Got these. Don't need another bug. Alright, now we're moving on to fishing stuff. My tackle box, because I also got fishing stuff in there, so keep fishing stuff. Here's some more. I don't know how you say that, but I don't care. This, I don't want that. I don't like it. That's not mine, it's yours. Alright, so you got the Kevin Van Dam frog, the natural colors. It's a good frog. I've only caught two fish on it though, but I don't frog fish a lot. So, got the mustads, four out hooks for my worms. I got, well, I got my square bell. It's yeah. an old square bell, but it's got brand new treble hooks on it. I got like, it's a swim bait slash like, it's a crankbait, but it's like, it's like a swim bait <laughs> and, and a rattle trap. But it's it's pretty cool. So I haven't used it yet. I haven't had I haven't had time to go fishing yet. So I got my two jerk baits. Oh, that was. <laughs> Ow. I got your little chatter bait. Chatter bait. There's one jerk bait. Never been used yet, but it's brand new. Got my least favorite bait. Topwater popper. I hate poppers. My spinner bait. You guys gotta have you a spinner bait. This is my other jerk bait. It's been used like ten times. Not good. Got at all. just a small crank bait. It's with, with this kind of hook. It's it's weird. I've never seen one like that, but it gets a lot of fishies. Is this how you make videos? Just get the four out hooks with, for worming. I keep extras. I have a yellow spinner bait. It was just given to me because mm -hmm. I didn't have a spinner bait to use one day. Mm -hmm. That's just, oh, and my cheddar bait. This is just what I use when I go to small ponds or if I'm going somewhere to just to test a few baits. 
tomorrow there will be a fishing video up because me and my little brother will be going fishing at somebody's place. I'm not going to say. But, uh, oh, and one of my favorites. This is an H&H spinnerbait, and it is bomb for ponds mm -hmm. in the spring. Mm -hmm. You can catch, like, 80 fish on that and add a good pond. Right. My brother doesn't have a YouTube channel, so he wants to do a little selection on this video. So I'm going to end this one and let him start on the next one and allow y'all to enjoy. But There's one more necessity I forgot to say. I think I forgot to say at least. When I when I go out, when I usually catch a fish, if I'm popping the fish pretty good, I'll grab a few, clean them right there, and I usually bring some, a baggie, a small baggie of lemon pepper, because lemons actually expire, and I don't want to bring just a baggie of pepper, so I bring some lemon pepper, and it makes that fish taste good. Uh, so I just wanted to add that to a small thing, so, and he's about to do his video, um, what do you want to say? Um... My bag is not going to be completely full of stuff that you're going to need for survival. I don't know why he wants me to show y'all this so bad, but it is, it's one of my switchblades. It's just a collectible. One of my friends actually gave it to me because he never used it. I don't use it either, but it's pretty cool. He, I collect knives. But it's a uh, little, little 45 knife. Colt knife. It's really tight. So, But it's just a little 45 Colt or 38 special. But he just wanted me to show y'all this. And then he wants me to show y'all another blade. And it's this one. I usually keep this but sure. in my thing. But I was using it earlier. It's probably one of my sharpest knives besides my fillet knife. Now, for the third time, he's going to show y'all his survival bag and his pond tackle box and his lake tackle box. So, boom. What's up, guys? Back at it again. And he is showing y'all's bag, so I'm going to walk over there and lay down. So, as you know, you have to have your bug bands. Sorry about that one. You gotta have your crawdads to catch some fish. He's, as my big brother throws my Sankos at me. But little yellow tail Sankos. You always have to have a first aid kit. A scale, fish scale, and layer fish. Also, you have to have a little knife that has everything on it. Then you have to have a bottle opener. Two flashlights. And one knife. Big knife. I mean, knife, I guess you can say. Pretty cool. Well, that is all for today. Oh, and my tackle boxes. I forgot about that. So, this is my pond one. Get your bag out of the way so you have space. So, this is my pond one. That, that's a crankbait. This is a cr the little crankbait. Sorry about not saying the one. Chatterbait. Then you got a little chatterbait. It's a square bow. And then necessities for a worm. Uh, we got a little square belt, brand new hooks, brand new. Um, you have to, you always got to have a nice little popper. Pretty cool. I don't really use poppers that much, but it's just something to have in your tackle box. Oh, actually, my frog legs. I don't even know where my frog went. Downstairs, little tiny hook from a bait that it broke. Uh, 
warm weights and warm hooks. Uh, now turning to my lake one. Oh, and my H and H spinner bait, which my brother showed earlier, but it was a different color. This isn't really your lake one. This is more of a worming because all you have in here is worms, worms, and more worms. Oh, actually, these are uh, crawl dads. He's got some black and blue little crawl dads. And you have, I guess I have one left, but it's a red Senko. That's not a red, that's a watermelon. A watermelon Senko, sorry. Blue flake. A blue flake power bait. Don't use power bait much. Bug. You have a June bug Senko. Black and blue. Black and blue, Black and blue crawl dad. Black and blue tail um, brush hogs. Black and blue tail brush hogs. If you can see that pretty good. Watermelon brush hogs. And water, some watermelon brush hogs. Watermelon tail. And then UV or er, green red flake. Green red flake. Curl dad. Curl dad. And this is he uses this for a trailer. Mm. We. Okay, so what we do is, can I, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. Yeah, it's fine. For trailer. It's fine. Uh, I need a knife. I need a good spread. All right, so what you do is you just want the top part. Go ahead and spread the legs because they're actually connected. Oh, <laughs> go ahead and spread the crawdads because they're actually connected. <laughs> and what you want to do, there's just a uh, little cut. There's lines on it, and you just cut probably half a centimeter right in front of it. Half a centimeter. And then you can put that on just a jig, like it's good for a jig, or just as a trailer, period. That's a good trailer. Uh, you don't really need this part. You can throw yep. this part away. Or keep it if you want to keep it. So we'll pack this back up. That's our guinea pig. As you know, earlier of the video, we got him out. Uh, I don't know if the video, I don't know if we took video of that. Oh yeah, we didn't. I don't know if we That's did our guinea pig. Maybe next time you'll see him. <laughs> Alright, so see you guys tomorrow and hope you have a fantastic day.